Hey guys, this is the Phoenix. And this is the Shrevi. Welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII. Yes, I've done a little bit of work on these characters. They're now level 10. Which we left off at, like, what? You were level 6 or something? So you've done a bit of grinding. 5 or 6, yeah. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, Yangus! As you can Question. see, their attributes have gone up quite a bit. Question. In this one, do you have to level each character individually? Or do they, like, share experience? Do you remember? I don't remember. Um, truthfully, I do not remember. Ah, oh, that's fair. Alright, we Stop were headed to a, a cave, if yes. I remember correctly. Not gonna comment on my weapon of choice. It's a boomerang. Yes. Oh my god. I didn't notice that till you said something, so there you go. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to the inn. Get in, get in the inn. <laughs> in in the end have you seen some of like the the tiktok videos and or youtube videos of people like acting like players in games where they just kind of like run into walls and whatever <laughs> or people and then they do like the and then the action okay that's <laughs> and they funny. do like the weird body jerks it's really funny the frick is he working on it's a shield i wish it's the masa moon to be fair what he is working on is better Really? Mm hmm It's a lantern. No. Whatever, it's got a handle on the top. Something useful, clearly. Hand it over, old man, let's go. Oh, we're not gonna get it for a little while. You have to have like 50 nights of rest. No, it actually has nothing to do with how much sleep you get, it's how far in the storyline you get. Oh, we're not reading this. I was like, what's going on? The little mouse you got there is no normal mouse. It's your pet, is it? Right. Here, have this cheese as your reward? Now you had mentioned cheese with this thing. What did you give him? Oh, was, was this the side quest you said yeah. you accidentally started? Okay. Places eight pieces of plain cheese in the bag. It may just be plain old cheese, but that mouse of yours is sure to like it. I could be wrong, but try giving it some next time you got yourself into a fight with some monsters. You never know what might happen. Oh, interesting. Okay. I was wondering why you were going up here. I was like, this looks nothing like a cave. You also can't find a door. <laughs> you actually have to click on the handle. Yeah, whatever. Like, the hitbox for the door is surprisingly small That's and cool. unnecessary. You can just have you go out the door. Yeah, That's no. That's so annoying. What? This monster, his name, yeah. is One Night Stand. Night spelled K N I G H T. Freaking name. Uh, a sexy pun. Yes. Got it. <sighs> they knew what they were doing there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure they're proud of themselves, too. They're like, oh, yeah, of course we are. Oh, yeah, they knew what they were up to. They, they knew what they were doing. One night stand. Wow. Holy, you did it! Oh yeah, no, that was a bronze monster. That do not give me credit for that. He is not I'm... nearly as bad as the raptor. Uh, oh, the green guy. Yeah, no. All right, are you gonna go to the cave already? Good right freaking god, we're old as shit now. It's right here. All right, I'm in my fifties. Quit your bed, Chan. Which really isn't that old. It looks like we. Oh wait. Uh... Oh, I can't come in with you. Could possibly put Medea in danger. So you do fine of finding the crystal ball without us. Oh, that's right. We were looking for a crystal ball. Wait, and it's in the cave? Mm hmm Something stole it. No. But, you'll see. The crystal ball just left. He's like, I'm not putting up with this shit. He just left, put his hat on, packed a bag. Right, he's like, bye. Bye, bye Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's so pretty. You got a torch. Wow. Yeah, it's a dark cave. I don't see too many games where they, they make sure to include a torch. Wow, this guy is just hat. Well, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say he's happy, but no, he's Kind of sad. Now. I almost want to let you see his signature move. Sultry Did, dance. Does he, like, shake his hips at you? Yeah. Oh, my God. And was, then your character begins dancing uncontrollably. I was being facetious, but that's funny. Mimic. 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 Oh. Ooh, map of the waterfall cave. Nice. I love that you named the MC Gohan. Ooh. Can you swim? 
Yeah. Well, in shallow water, you can. That's not the... Wait, like, you actually, like, paddle, paddle, swim, swim? I don't remember. Uh, I stumbled upon the cave. So intriguing. It's trying to explore. God, I got myself completely lost. Good job, dumbass. How? We're right near the entrance. Quite so, literally, we're like, yay. He's so mesmerized. I love the bat thing. It's a drackey. You killed the bat thing. Yes. It's adorable. It's a drackey. I wish to squish it. There's plushies of drackeys. Are there? Yes. Aw, it's adorable. You be careful I don't get into Squishmallows, otherwise there's going to be 50 of them in the room. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they look adorable. They really are. Uh, ooh, medicinal herb. Nice. Yeah, it's empty. There, there. Hey, I know this call. There, there. Fucking weird. SpongeBob when SpongeBob was still good. Yeah. <sighs> Have you seen any of the newer episodes of SpongeBob? I've tried. Um, they really, really babyfied it. Yeah. It was fine the way it was, and then they were like, oh, it's a kid show, therefore this X, Y, and Z. No! Kids don't need all of the things. They really don't. Listen. Teenagers need stuff. The adults need stuff. Feck off. And even the kids don't appreciate the kids' stuff. Cut it out. Wow, is that glitched? What's going on there? <gasps> is it a secret wall? Aw, uh, no, come Sadly, on. No. Any good game that has glitched wall stuff and, like, the texture's weird, there's a secret. Whip out your sword. Smack it one good time. I already tried. Do a barrel roll. Come on. Send Draki at it. Send Yangus Yetus at it. He'll break it down. There's a there's a there's a Draki you can get as your as monster. Like, as a familiar. Thing. Sort of. It's a tameable oh. thing, right? Yeah, kind of like the the one night stand I fought. Is he black? Yes. Yay! I think there's another one that's not black. Is it purple? I don't remember. Okay, because I it, is it blue or if it's red? I feel like it would be the cutest in those colors. It Black, purple, blue, be. and red. Not saying it wouldn't be cute in others. I'm just saying I feel like the cutest colors would be those colors. I'm not entirely sure. And truthfully, I <gasps> I barely remember. What if it's a shimmering purple? I just remember my main team With was a, a gold red gold. Hue. And it's got these beady black eyes. I made a team of golems. A red brick golem, a silver golem, which was a concrete golem, essentially. And a gold golem made of gold bars. Look at these. They stole shoes. That's so... They, the monsters in this are so creative. <laughs> oh! I know what the Drackies remind me of. This is a skipper. That's cute. His name is Eileen. Uh, gonna hurt you. <laughs> he works at IHOP. Uh-huh. But prefers the Waffle House. He goes to Payless and gets his, all of his shoes half off. Well, well, you must be really brave to come up and talk to me like this. No, you're just blocking the fucking door. Right. A man that looked like a peddler came along earlier, but when he saw me, he ran away without saying a word. Kind of rude. Anyways, you probably realized you'll have to fight me if you want to go any further. What do you think? Brave enough for that? Wait, why do you have to fight him? Really? You are brave. That means you must be... What? You're going too fast, woman. It says it must be mean you're a good fighter. I know in recognition of your bravery, I'm going to let you through. Oh, so he's a coward. Okay. Yeah, no, he really Wait, is. Wait, why would you run away from him? He looks fluffy and adorable. You can't fight him. I would love to, but you can't. The Drakis! I know what they remind me of. What? Nino Kuni. The bats. Oh, the, the skipper bat ran away. The bat monster from Nino Kuni? Wrath of the White Witch. Yeah, thinking, thinking. Nope, not pulling up anything from oh, the Oh, there's like three different versions of it. Hang on. Let me look it up on my phone. I will share it with you. Oh, oh the wombats. Oh my god, phone. Yes, the wombats. Yes. Hang on. Wombat. Oh, it's it's like wombat. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, he's... yeah, insert picture now. There you go. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I That's kind of what it reminded me of. Don't no, like the wombats. Why? 
<sighs> they're so funny. I like. They're funny, but like legitimately, I wouldn't have them as a uh, on the team. On the team, not they even were a quite bit. useful. I enjoyed using them. Useful. I, I wouldn't say that one. they made it like throughout the entire game, but they were very useful. Oh no, I had plenty of monsters that I enjoyed having on my teams. They're not one of them. Especially when you get like. It's uh, it's like a superhero look or something that one of his like third evolutions get. Is really cute, <laughs> and the skill sets that come with him are really good too. Oh, look at this random patch of green. Maybe there's treasure. Sadly, they no. Dang it! There should be treasure. <gasps> treasure! <laughs> that worked out. Copper sword. Nice. I, need a co I already have a copper sword. Why are you surprised? You were supposed to be here at like level five or six or whatever. Yeah, but. Okay but then. That would have been appropriate for that point in time, huh? Fling your boomerang and shut up. <laughs> Considering the copper sword is about 180 coins and this boomerang is 420 and does one point more damage than the sword. And hits all of the opponents at once. Wooter. Wooter. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's always the case. You're like three feet away from the... Yeah, I'm about <laughs> to fought a, fight a boss, and it's like, yeah, we're going to chip just a ch little smidgen of health off the top. All right, it's like, by the way, no. <laughs> Ooh, what do you get? Oh, all right. Well, you know what? Nice. I'll, I'll... Wait, this is a boss? A crystal ball is suspended in the air. Reach out and take it. Mm. Boo. Oh. It's a Hagen Dice. Surprise! Surprise! Meet Giza. I am the master of this waterfall. I love that he has a lisp. <laughs> How long is she been? How many people have gone and come? Ten long years and more. I've waited ten years, I tell you. All the time hoping for the left one. I mean, the right one to come. But enough with the introductions. Now, for the moment of news. Does this Bristol call... Crystal the Torment of Moose. Yes. He does what I do. <laughs> At last. <laughs> At last we fit mace to mace. You <laughs> with yeah. He does exactly what I do. Why are dyslexia my own freaking words when I talk? <laughs> I mean a lesson you won't forget. There's a reason he was like that though. Because he's a goober? No. No? He'd get a hit on the head one too many times by the crystal ball? Yes. <laughs> Just yes. Now, beat the stuffing out of him so we can have some sushi. Maybe some sh sashimi if you're into that. Oof. So when... Question, I've noticed this. When he hits you, and it shows the, the orange numbers, obviously that means, like, that's how much you've been hit. But what is the immediate white number afterwards? Is that just how much HP you have left? Is that what that means? Yes. Why do they do that? That's a little confusing. Ow! Concussion! Nice! Ooh, we dropped a treasure chest. Ooh, seed of strength, yes. That's sweet! Oh, a pain, a pain. Oh, my old mood. Ever since I got this, I've not been right quite. And it's all because of you. What? You don't know what I'm talking about? Then you... You're not the true owner of this crystal ball! No! 
The shame! The shame! <laughs> so strong! Strong enough to withstand my fearsome might! You are no Tortune fella! <laughs> Tortune fella! It's like talking to me and Raquel, oh my god. <laughs> the waterfall rears many humors, you know! I hear that a castle called Trodain has been cursed. That it was run over, overrun by folk he set off on a journey. Leading a course and heart with a lone driver. <laughs> a lone driver. A course and heart. Mm-hmm. No, I saw it. I read it. It's ag absolutely like talking to my sister, Raquel, and me. Like, Hortwog. Yes. Have you heard of that story? <laughs> I, I was there for the Hortwog story. <laughs> it, it's just a case of where, like, there's dyslexia when reading something. I'm sure there's an actual terminology for it, but it's dyslexia Dyslex of the mouth. Yes. <laughs> when you're speaking and you rearrange the letters and stuff. Oh, look at him. He's a soldier. A knight. Well. Same thing. Kind of. Same. He worked for the castle. Freaking thing. As I thought, that was you. Oh, wait. Geyser was there? What do you want with this crystal? No, he he hears rumors. Oh, gotcha. But it's yours now. I accept the hands. I accept the hands. Or is it defeat? <sighs> oh my gosh. He's like, finally, get this thing away from me. Should you meet the true owner of the crystal ball. Tell him this from me. Don't throw things in the fall water. So where we fell. Oh, Do we ever get to help him? I feel bad. He's just permanently fucked up now. Yeah. Aw, poor guy. Because somebody threw the crystal ball in the waterfall and it hit him in the head. Aww. Here's the thing. With Dragon Quest, not every bad guy is a bad guy. Just because you are a bad guy does not mean that you are a bad guy. Yes, and the best part is, he's gone now. You will not see him again for the rest but of the game. But now I feel bad. We, we, well, not we. Freaking what's-his-face cracked the shit out of his cranium. He ended up with a concussion and, like, fell asleep and he woke up like that. Yep. Which is a true thing. That can happen. You can wind up with permanent speech uh, impediments. Yep. And or it takes a very long time to get back to a quote-unquote normal speech pattern. That's correct. And the thing is, I, it wasn't... Th there's more to the story. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure what's his face is just in a drunken haze or something. Freak this ball! I hate everything about it. Rah! <laughs> no. 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 Oh, the trauma. Still the tea, sis. I'm kidding. All no, right. just wait till we get there. Don't tell me. I'll be upset. Here we go. Ready for cheating? <gasps> yes. Oh, is this a warp thingy? Nice. So it's like escape Ooh. ropes. Oh. I forgot you can't do it in. <laughs> really? Yeah. I Did forgot. you just waste it? No. Oh, no, it's still there. <laughs> that was great. So it's not an escape rope. Now we're going to get out of here. Quickity lickety split so I can go back to the. Quick <laughs> you were just a quickity yep. lick. <laughs> <laughs> I said quickity split. By no, the way. quickity split. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> still you were messing it up. I think you were, you were harnessing geezer, geezer, just a little too much there. <laughs> it happens. It's fine. <laughs> but there are a lot of characters like that where you're gonna be like, oh, they're they're bad guys for now, but they're interesting and they have a nice backstory that are worth paying attention to. Mm. But yeah, if you try to use teleport inside of a building, you will immediately hit the ceiling and it'll say you hit your head. 
be funny if like one of your characters started talking like that, <laughs> even if it's just for a little while. That would actually be yes. Okay, that's actually really cool. No, what's really cool is if you teach Gohan courage skills, mm -hmm. he'll learn how to teleport out and teleport to. Neat. Teleport out gets you out of dungeons. Um, teleport to immediately makes it to where... Why was I here? Uh, oh, yeah. The, crystal the, ball? Crystal ball. Thank you. Um, it'll teleport to any town you've already been to. Glad to know I'm not the only one that does that. Random moments of dyslexia of the mouth. No, well, that and then just kind of going somewhere. I get somewhere and I go, why the hell am I here? <laughs> you would return before long. And it seems you have done as Valentina asked. You see, even with a glass ball, the great Calderasha's eyes see further than you realize. But you are meddling in matters that do not concern you. And you are wasting your time. You can bring back my crystal ball as many times as you like. I will just throw it away again. Why does he hate the ball so much? So I was right. He did throw it away. Two things in the waterfall. It might open up an old wound. What on earth are you talking about? Enough. Listen to me. No one knows why I threw away my crystal ball. Even Valentina has no idea. I'm not about to confide in a stranger. Um, I think it has something to do with that one guy that, um, Give burned alive or whatever. This time I will smash it into a million pieces so it never finds its way back to me again! Sheesh. Someone's passionate. Stop! Please stop, Father. I know. I've known for ages. I know why you threw away your crystal ball. She... You... You know? So you know about your real parents? Oh my yes. god, the plot thickens! I don't blame you for their death. Why not? How can you not blame me, Valentina? How can you not hate me? Wait, then how come because she has the ability to see you? True sight. Just doing what you do best. I was too young to remember, but you were once a truly great fortune teller, weren't you, father? No one knew where my parents had fled to, but to you, it was as clear as day. That is actually a good question. How come she has future sight? Unless that's something that can be learned? Back then, there was nothing. Unless she doesn't actually have future sight, she actually saw him throw away the crystal ball. Oh, and was playing it off like she had future sight? Yeah. Ah. I was walking on air. Fortune telling was my life. It was my soul. I thought only of myself. Be they good or bad. I cared not who asked me to use my crystal ball. Mm. I lived for the vision. Basically just All young right, and naive father. days. You're a good man. You took me in and raised me, didn't you? When I was just a helpless baby. I want to see it for myself. I want to see the great Kaldarasha in all his glory. I want to see your magnificent powers at work again, father. Oh, my sweet Valentina. I think somebody came looking for her parents and he went, ah, found them. Mm. And they were soldiers hunting them. Oh, yeah, no, that would be quite messed up. In doing so... Kaldar Asha realized what happened, took in the child that was left orphaned, and gave up his crystal ball. And blamed himself all these years for what had happened. Yeah, no, I can understand that. Man, the tea has been spilled. So, oh, so that is his actual crystal ball now. Yes. Is he going to pick it back up? So, you are awake at last. It is already past midday. You must have been exhausted. 
I must thank you and your friend. Look, I have put my crystal ball back where it belongs. <laughs> Great, your aesthetic looks real now. Wonderful. <laughs> Since I gazed into the crystal like this, I have... What, what is this? Yes, yes, I see it, I see it. There is a jester, a jester breaking through the southern checkpoint. Yes, the mists are clearing. And the same jester murdered Master Rylos. Oh my god, it's Cicero. Yes. He's made his way into another mists game. <laughs> no, no, do not disrespect Cicero. Like oh, that. he would, though. Come on, you know he would have a shit ton of fun doing that. Can it be? Surely not. He has changed. But there can be no mistake. It has to be Master Rylos' former pupil, Dulmagos. Dulmagos. Uh, what? Gav, he said Dulmagos, right? That's our man. That's the evil magician. You and the old granddad are after, innit? So where'd he go after that? What else can you deduct? What else? Let me look deeper. Huh? What's this? Pure. Yes, no question. Yeah. This is definitely my old crystal ball, but look here. It has been chipped. Oh, it is missing a little piece. Huh. It must have hit something very hard to do this oh, damage. Oh, no. And look, someone has scratched some letters next to the chip. What? Half-wit? Who's the half-wit? <laughs> what ignorant lowlife would do this to my crystal ball? <laughs> You're the one that threw the damn ball. I ask what else you could see? I didn't mean on the ball, I mean in the ball. Whatever. Oh, come on, Gav. I like how that came full circle. <laughs> and I do love that the geyser, gaver, what, mm -hmm. what? Carved that on the ball. <laughs> Like, don't leave me behind! I was checking to see if there was any more information that was absolutely necessary for the storyline. Because, you know, sometimes they're like, hey, you gotta talk to the guy one last time after the and fact. And if you don't, then, like, you can't progress. And then you end up want wandering around for, like, an hour going, what am I supposed to do now? Just to realize you have to go back and talk to the guy that you just finished up with. And it's like, good freaking god! <gasps> the Naruto run! Yes. <laughs> what happened? Did you do what the young girl asked? Hmm? Well? He's technically a silent hero, but he talks. We just don't what? have to hear it. Dulmagus killed Master Rhinus? The same Dulmagus we're looking for? That fiend killed his own teacher? And you say he headed south? Then there's no time to lose. We must go after him. Let's be on our way. He's kind of an interesting fella. King Trode? Yeah. yeah. He he seems like a genuinely good person, a very doting father. Oh, he is that and so, then some. Yeah. Just, I don't know. Something about him just comes across as genuine. and Like, I mean, he's pissed that the guy killed his own teacher and whatnot. Oh. Seems almost like he's too pure. <laughs> He is a unique instance all the way around. Um, he's entertaining. Let's put it that way. He has attitude, and he has he has moments where he's very, you know... Yeah, nose up in the air. Yeah. Hoity-toity, godlike Mr. Smarty fans. Exactly. But the reality is he's also very down-to-earth at other times. Seems very forthcoming with his honesty and just everything about yes. him, really. The only issue is there are times in the game where that, like, holier-than-thou personality comes out, and it's and like... Sheep? Yes. You'll get some mutton. Which no. is gross. I don't... I don't like sheep. I like mutton. I don't like lamb. I don't like either one. 
So we got the opportunity to go to uh, Texas D Brazil with family. Oh, so worth it. Oh, Anybody gets a so chance, so delicious. Do it's it. expensive as balls, but if you get the opportunity, freaking go. Oh yeah. It it's... was a Christmas gift that like everybody chipped in a little bit for, and we ate like kings. It, basically, it's a uh, all-you-can-eat meat buffet. Right. They ru- they walk around with like sticks of whatever and they're like you want some you're like oh, yeah obviously they're it, flank steaks it runs about 60 bucks per person to sit down for dinner but you eat your fill yeah they've also got generally they have a bar and whatever um but they're flank steaks oh mm, so good so good anyways but they also have like chicken sausage and one of them was sheep and i was like you know what? i've never tried sheep so Phoenix got some uh, on his plate. We, that was specifically lamb. Was it lamb? Whatever. Yeah, we no, tried it's... it. It was gross, and I'm under the firm impression that I never want to eat sheep or lamb. Ever I wouldn't again. say it was gross, but it was definitely gamey and wasn't really to my tastes. It was akin to eating duck, and I don't enjoy duck. Duck's another one where it's very greasy, and I don't, I don't particularly. It, it's enjoy just the it. texture, the flavor, and I, I'm sure they cooked it nice. Just it wasn't for me. Yeah. But I kept going after the flank steak. Oh yeah. <laughs> the flank steak, and um, there's one other one that they did, and I can see it. It starts with a P. The is that a horse? It's a horse. Dude, you can get a horse. We can't get a horse. You there get is a freaking horse. horse. There's a horse. It's just P- not a. Pin, pin, I don't remember what it's called now. It's like Pino. Pin, some, something like that. Whatever. Papalo. It, it's a, it's a type of like, um, almost shish kebab. Yeah, but it was like garlic something on it. And it, it, it's, was, it was so good. Ooh, treasure. Freaking yummy. <gasps> treasure. Treasure. Yeah, no, in this world, there's a lot of treasures. The problem is some of them have, uh, locks on them. Oh, yeah. No, I've noticed. And there's two types of locks. Uh, there's a regular lock and then there's a magical lock. Do you get, like, spells and stuff? Or do you have to find keys? <gasps> Slime earrings. Oh, hey. hey, hey. hey. Uh, I don't... It's gonna look so freaking cute. Ooh, girl. Wait, that's it? What's the point of wearing those? Increase my defense by four points. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second, so each of you gets your own little pouch? Yes. And that's how you equip them. Interesting. Oh wait, what did the freaking slime earrings do? Added four to my defense. Oh, is that all it did? That's it. Oh, okay. I didn't see where it added anything. I, it just said that it was cute slime earrings, which I'm going, oh, adorable. Yeah. No, my defense was 29. Adorable, would wear, but like, is that it? It's now 33. <laughs> oh, nice. By the way, he's wearing boxer shorts. <laughs> and, like, a weird hat thing and a helmet and has, like, a weird hat. You know what? This should be a little more accurate with what it is they have equipped. <laughs> well, That's the one. one. Drac Mage. Okay. Actually, it's cute, but I, I still think the black one is the cutest. Yeah, should, the Drac. Should have been purple. There even might though, be a purple one. Even though green is my favorite color, just on the, on the, the Dracky thing, I think... Purple, black, blue, and red would have looked the cutest. Actually, you know what? Take away the blue. Only because they already have blue slimes. Don't want too much blue. Unless it's a, a slime drackey. Is that a thing? I don't know. Maybe it's a slime riding a drackey. And it's like, yay! Oh, Bodkins. that? Okay, never mind. The penis shroom is kind of scary. Looking like a lick a tongue. It's a fungal. A fungal. He's <laughs> a bully. But, as you can see now, I am not so powerful as to be, uh... There we go. Ooh, 43 experience. Yeah! Nice. Well, now you're reaching areas where they're stronger mobs, right? Yes. Yes, much stronger. Thankfully. Oh, you're going to go on another grinding spree? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> We're getting to, like, level 30 tonight. It's going to be what's nuts. What's the max level for Dragon Quest? Uh, it's either 99 or 100. I'm going to assume Please be 100. 99. I hate it with a passion when the level cap's at 99. Give me the full 100. What I is that all about? I never level was, so I cannot say. Oh, yeah. That's something we needed to bring up. You've never beaten Dragon Quest 8. 
Yeah, no, what ended up happening was I played it on the original PS2, and I had gotten to the final boss area, but, you know, ADHD, hyper-focus, it, it giveth and it taketh away. Right. Uh, basically what happened was I spent a lot of hours, got all the way to the point of the final boss, I was literally probably right the last save before the final boss. Yeah. And my hyper focus went, and we're done. Thanks for playing. Everybody have a great day. <laughs> we'll pack so up. We'll be back. Um, so I put the game aside with the save file, and then like other a games few came years out. passed. We got a PS3 and eventually a PS4. And when we finally found where my Dragon Quest and the PS2 was, we can't find the the actual memory card anymore. Oh no. So. Yeah, I no longer have the save file you know, for uh, that That's game. almost exactly what happened with me in uh, uh, Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits. So it's a it's an original PS2 game, which you now can play. It's Trunks! Holy crap. But yeah, you can play the game on like PS3 if you bought it from the shop. It's it's not a bad port. Um, Bangers but... and mash. Oh. <laughs> Nice. That that's that's a British meal. Is it? Bangers and mash. Yes. So it's mashed potatoes. What's bangers? I don't know. That's Prepare funny. Might be hot dogs. I don't know. Ew. What? You're fighting kids? Kick them. Right in the face. I, I don't know if I should. Kick them. Rascals up to now. Stop it at once. Ooh. Oh, I was gonna mess them up too. I was gonna hurt them. Your manners. That's no way to welcome travelers. Wait. <laughs> Real quick. To finish up my story. PS2 Arc the Lad. Uh, I, I got to the final boss and whatever, and then my memory card disappeared, and I think I may have accidentally thrown it away. But yeah. I honestly have no, no proof, but I was very upset because it also had my Persona 4. Uh, information on there too. Oh. So I wasn't able to beat either of those games and in both of them I was in the final area leveling up for the bosses. Oof. I have not beaten either one to this day. <laughs> I think I will though. I will make a, a goal at some point to do so. You have to. Didn't Just Miss because. Jessica ask you to run an errand for her? And here you are playing around. Uh, I forgot! It's like <laughs> you better run along before Jessica finds out. Yikes! I'm so sorry. They don't mean any harm. It's just that our village has been through a lot lately. Ask around for yourselves. You'll see. There's nothing wrong with the place, mind. It's a lovely village, really. Make yourselves at home just full of a couple of bratty kids that need to have their poopers pushed in. Got it. Once or twice. With a boot. You gonna sell your previous buckler? Nope. No? Hang on to it for future people's joining the team and whatever? Nope. What are you doing with them then? You'll see. No! I don't want to see. Do it. I'm avoiding mistakes I made the first time I played this game. Oh no. Which means I would absolutely make <laughs> yes, yes you would. Oh, great. And it isn't until you get to a point where you realize, ah, oh, feck. And then you have to go back and rebuy them all. You have to find them, because not everything that you have equipped right now can oh, you get. Oh, no. Some of them actually drop from Is this from a monsters. case of, like, what is it called? Synergy? Synergist? Nope. No? It's not It's not the Moogle thing? Nope. Ah, come here, come here. Oh no, it's the daytime now. Cool. Hold on. So now you're in trouble. <laughs> no, no, maybe. Can you go down into every well? Not every well. And even if you do, as you can see, not every well has anything worth paying attention to. Ah, there could be secret walls, though. No. Did you see the water around the edges? Yeah. You can't walk past that. So is that how people have to get the water out of the well? They have to go down the rope and scoop it up? See, that seems illogical, the way they designed that. <laughs> That's what it looks like, though, And it right? is very illogical, but no, they don't actually have to do that. They just put a bucket down, and when they pull it up, it has water. Ooh. Stole money. Money, money, money. Beef. I want a game where, like, you seriously get yelled at for coming in, breaking their shit, opening their cabinets, 
taking their stuff. Oh yeah, like, what are you doing? Right. And eventually they'll, they'll beat the shit out of you, or they'll call the guards. <clears throat> but then, like, if you do good stuff for them, they're like, here, break my shit, have my stuff. <laughs> Within reason. Uh, oh. Who died? Alistair. Oh. <laughs> Not as cute as Callie, though. We love True you. True story. Uh, no doubt you've heard about the Albert family. They live in the mansion atop the hill. Lady Rosalind and Miss Jessica have shut themselves away inside ever since Alistar's death, the poor lambs. The night's upon us now, but you could go and have a look in the morning if you're interested. So wait, I wasn't paying attention. How did this Alistair kid die? What happened? Tragic. We don't know. Oh, it's just... Well, I know, but... Oh, but we I haven't we game. haven't uncovered it via storyline. Correct. Okay, I thought maybe I missed something because I looked down to um, love on the Cali me. Hmm. <laughs> exactly how I sleep, just sideways in the way, stealing the entire bed for myself. Thank you. Oh, so the conversation we were having with the guys. Our new plan instead of a king size bed. Mm-hmm. Phoenix and I currently own a queen, and um, it is too small for the amount of blankets and just overall coverage that we need for rest. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the biggest bed is an Alaskan king bed. It's huge mongrous. It is both long and wide, and I, we need this. <laughs> we need this in our lives. Yes. Yes, we do. Alright, and this way, this should be the next area. This is the mansion. Yes. Manchon? Manchoff. Oh, well, uh. uh th that was an informative off. thing. Was, yeah. Maybe at nighttime she says, Get out of the family <laughs> mansion. Goodbye. <laughs> Your death awaits you. Back off, you bloody wanker! <laughs> the hell Gump shite! Get the hell off my lawn! Arse biscuits! Right? Just funny, random. Right? random Britishisms. I love Father Ted. That's a great show. Yes, it really is. Father Jack is one of the best. Anybody who hasn't seen it, please, for the love of all that is holy, go out and educate yourself. Right. It is a British show. If that's not your thing, too freaking bad. You are now required to watch it because you have listened to this episode. Cheers! Oh my god, and gold coins. The secret to the door of the Eastern Tower. Only people from our village know how to open it, but Master Alistair found it open one day, and that's why he went inside to find out what was going on. Oh, and then someone or something attacked him. Gotcha. So, it was a case of curiosity killed the cat. I saw them, you know, Miss Jessica and her poor mother arguing like cats and dogs. What are they arguing about? I don't rightly know. Something about revenge? Ooh. That means they probably know who or what did it. Uh, I'd say probably. Oh. Ooh, it's her! It's her! She said she didn't like Jessica. If I do sympathize with her now, I mean her only true friend in the world was her brother, Master Alistair, so now she's all alone. It's her. <laughs> she did it just because she doesn't like her. If I can't have him, you can't have him, even if he's only your brother. Whoops, there's a person. What a life that must be. I wish I could leave all this behind and go by myself. I mean, technically you could. The mistress heard me, it'd, it'd be out of my ear, then I'd have no choice but to travel. Yeah, and? <clears throat> That's the fun part. Alright, so. I up, love that here you're just. Oh, yeah, no, I'm looting. Exploring the house. No one's stopping you or saying anything. Again, I want someone to make a game where they're just like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you need to read this. <laughs> The world in which we live is blessed with an astonishing variety of cheeses. Some of them have even more astonishing effects. Spicy cheeses that will leave you spitting fire. Cold cheeses that refresh you as they chill. And it goes without saying that they all taste simply wonderful. Cheese is tasty. Cheese is healthy. Cheese makes everything better. Cheese makes the world go round. 
I agree, but disagree. I love cheese, but on certain things, it's disgusting. I do not enjoy broccoli and cheese. There, I've said it. It's nasty. It's really gross. You what kind of cheese? Just cheese and broccoli. Oh. It's generally like nacho cheese or something. It's fucking weird. It's gross. I have had uh, broccoli with mozzarella on it. No. I've had broccoli with Colby Jack. I don't want cheese on my broccoli. My favorite is broccoli with pepper jack. I said what I said. I don't want cheese on my broccoli. I'm, I'm, I'm picky about everything, though. That's my problem. I like cheese, but I don't like it with everything. And broccoli is certainly one of them, because it's a weird-ass flavor. I can understand that. It's just... Ugh. Yuck. Yuck. Oinkage. It's, it's just a bit much. Give me your possessions. You're rich enough. Right. I know you got some, like, real crystal in here somewhere. Well, here's the thing. In this world, um, as part of the culture, they leave out things specifically for people in need. Mm-hmm. So that means you get to go in their house, break their shit, steal their stuff. Ooh. Ooh, nice. And they can't say or do anything about it. Hey, that's a hole in the wall. Yes, it is. Can you make your mouse go in there? Make your mouse go in there. Maybe. Make your mouse go in there. There's a hole in the wall. It's just large enough. Ha! See? I'm smart. And when he comes back, you feed him a piece of cheese because he's a good boy. <gasps> I use the munchies. Oh, you look like the Australian jumping mouse. Kangaroo mouse. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do. Okay. Apparently there's some people that have never seen that. I've Seriously? never seen one in person, but I know what it is. Yeah. Munchy, 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 Rescuers munchy, munchy. down under. <laughs> oh. Oh. So you have to get the paper? Yep. Oh, so you are a thieving thiever. Now shit on it. <laughs> you just... <clears throat> look, there's a mouse up there. Oh, look at that. He's like, hey, what are you doing, bud? It's my job. Now make the babies. Oh, they make noises! Now you have to make even more babies. Let's go right now. They make right the cheapy squeaks. You didn't go up the... Go up the ramp! These freaking... Oh my god, the camera's based on C controls, isn't it? Yes. Good lord. And of course the up and down are inverted. Oh no. <laughs> Why is it a perfectly cut circle on this side, but like a broken jagged edge on the other side? I mean, this is Jessica's place. If there's gonna be a mouse hole, it's gonna look nice. Munchie bring. I don't know who will find this letter. Probably a mouse, but please consider it my last will and testament. For by the time you. Oh, was there a voice? I can't hear it. I'm sorry. I will not return until my brother's death is avenged. Oh. Mother. I'm sorry for the damage I've caused to our family's reputation. But this is about something far bigger than tradition. I must follow my heart, no matter the consequences. Please forgive me. And to Bangers and Mash, I'm sorry for lying to you. I hope you'll forgive me as well. Signed, Jessica. Ooh. Wait, what did she lie to about the kids? Oh, uh, if you talk to Bangers and Mash outside the door... They've been told by Jessica to guard the door and make sure nobody bothers her. She uh, is quite upset. So they assume she's still in there. <clears throat> yes, gotcha. yes they do. Interesting, very interesting. Not sorry enough to let you through here. I would just let them continue to stand there. They already tried to fight you like a bunch of moronic buffoons. 
fiance? <laughs> Interesting. You can't show him the letter? Oh, yes, you can. I don't know who will find this letter, but please consider it. Oh, it goes through it letter. again. I am going to the town what? In the east. That's just silly. You already had to go through it's it once. Why would you go through it again? Hurt. You could have just said Gohan read the letter. <laughs> what? What? Uh, she's been in our room the whole time. So how could? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Fine. I'll check her room. But if I'm right, you better leave and never come back. Got it? Right. Just wait here. No running away now. Kid, I could like sneeze on you and you would. <laughs> We can't hear him. This is really bad. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of there. You. This is partly your fault. What? So, I'll open the door to the tower. You go in and get her. Got it? Okay. We've got to hurry. To get to the tower, go left down the path outside the village. No. You get a kid freaking joins you. Listen, Mesh. Whatever you do, don't let Jessica's mum find out where she went. Yes, Excuse me. Bangers. You get kid trunks to join you? Come on. We got to hurry. You did mention the ones that actually look like legitimate DV or DBZ characters are the most important. It should have dawned on me that young kid trunks was absolutely going to join. Even if it's temporary. Whatever. Oh my god. Can you- No one can hear your shit-eating grin, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I figured you'd say something about You're it. such a dick. Uh, was there a smarmy-looking man saying awful things to Miss Jessica? What? I'd have to dash in and save her if there was. Be her knight in shining armor. Not that I'd ever actually have the nerve to do it, knowing me. What? Wait, was there a guy in there? We completely ignored him. He's her supposed fiancé. Oh, good lord. That's what she was talking about, tradition. No. No, I always hated that. Alright, let's go into the church room. Granted, quick. I'm not in a situation where that's a thing in the first place, but, like, I am so not down for forced marriages or whatever. Arrange marriage if you are both consenting to that, then fine, whatever, don't care. Because, like, everybody's got their own culture and way of doing things. Right. But so long as you are able to consent to, yes, this is fine, or no, I don't fucking think so. Whatever. All right, thank you all so much for watching. We hope you all enjoyed our progress that we've made in Dragon Quest VIII. Look forward to doing more in this one. The tea is a spillin'. So, hit that like button, subscribe, comment your favorite part of the episode. I did that backwards, and I don't care. Bye! Bye!